Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. Early summer protein. So here we are in the early summer season, getting into the middle of the summer. I've done plenty of videos about that now, how meat, at least in the northern European ancestral diets, would be very little at this time of year. It doesn't make much sense to be slaughtering your livestock this time of year. And, you know, work on the farm was about to get pretty busy in the next few months, so our ancestors in general would have not had much time to hunt. Of course, kings and chiefs might have done that if they own slaves but most people would not be hunting so very little meat this time of year actually and that's why it's my least favorite time of year in the seasonal diet I like some meat in my mouth <laughs> but we need to get some protein somewhere right very very important especially with the high work rate at this time of year whether they would be farming whether they would be out for war they need some extra protein how would they do this? Well, number one, dairy, milk, cheese, yogurt, cream, these kinds of stuff. It would be in the diets the whole year, really, but cows and other livestock produce more of these things in the sunny months. Um, so that's a very important thing, the dairy. Number two, the eggs, same thing, great source of protein and many other great minerals and amino acids in eggs and chickens tend to produce more eggs in the summer months. Number three, legumes. You all know these things like peas and beans all over the world. People have had these types of things um, in, in this legume family at least, but probably this is the plant food in the world with the highest amount of protein. So very, very valuable at this time of year and it's in season. Number four, a close second place to the plant foods with the highest protein is probably nuts. The only reason I put this at second place is that, you know, some modern studies and scientists have shown some harm in eating nuts and seeds and, and warned against eating too much of it. And, you know, the carnivore and paleo diet people out there, they're very against nuts for a few reasons, and they think humans shouldn't be eating it. I don't agree. Um, humans ate nuts, okay? We have written records of it going very far back, thousands and thousands of years, and archaeological evidence going back even further. Look, nuts start to come into season now in the midsummer, and if a hungry human came across a delicious nut tree or some seeds that they found laying around, they would have eaten that shit, okay? It's delicious and very nutritious with healthy fats, minerals, and oils, and of course, a decent amount of protein. So nuts is definitely on that list. Number five, the next one, fat. Like I said, humans did not eat much meat at this time of year but they would have had animal fat pres like preserved. I got a very cool video coming later on this week about how much humans used and preserved fat in ancient times. Even if they weren't eating meats, they would be eating preserved animal fat, whether it be by itself or in certain recipes. And there is some protein and fat too, so that's how one more way that they could get the protein that they were lacking. And number six will include the smaller meats here. Like I said, meat would be uh, not eaten so much at this time of year. Um, but humans, if they did eat meat at this time of year, it would be from wild hunted game or wild fish. But traditionally at this time, it's the smaller trapped animals such as rabbits, perfect example. Also maybe some wild birds if they were good with a bow. Even if they didn't want to kill the animals at this time, they would have to because these animals are the ones getting into the crops and eating them. They would have to they could kill these rabbits especially just for population control and they would have eaten that meat too. So that would be the small little bits of meat that we can find in the ancestral diet at this time of year. So that's all. We have to get a bit creative to find our protein for these next few months, um, but there are plenty of options to do this when most meat would have been off the menu. I went over some now. What are you guys eating this time of year? Do you have any favorite seasonal dishes? Let us know in the comments. We would all love to hear all of your recipes from around the world.